First, let it be clear that we are not anti-police, but we are anti-police brutality. And I speak on end SARS movement. Nigeria youth, Ahelo, we are doing well in the struggle to have a better nation to live in and ultimately hand over to our children. No matter how you jump up shouting answers, the beast called police brutality will always rear um, its ugly head if you don't fund or uh, reorganize the police. However, the first thing to be changed is the name from Nigerian police force to Nigerian police services. Because that force, the word force, is affecting their behavioral culture. Anyhow you put it, paying a man 48,000 naira, a police corporal, a salary and sending him to stand under the hot sun from Monday to Sunday, facing all sorts of threats and risks, will always negatively affect his mental condition, pushing him to frustration. Arming him with a war rifle AK-47 and paying him such a, a abysmal salary will eventually lead him to even more temptation. These are family breadwinners who pay school fees and rent. Don't forget, they have needs too. Anybody that comes his way could become the next victim. The work of special unit, um, SARS, anti-kidnapping, RT, ETC, in police cannot be overemphasized. These are the people that actually face criminals in heavy shootings. For being the backbone of security, none of them should receive less than 150,000 naira monthly. If senators and reps get 13.5 million naira and 9.5 million naira salary respectively for sleeping and sitting barely 10 times a month, but you expect a DPO to uh, effectively run a station with 32,000 naira per quarter, no. Special forces officers are not many in number. As such, the police force should have a disciplinary unit that can exercise powers without external interference, but which will be subject to the um, grand norms of Nigeria state. This disciplinary unit can discharge duties such as suspension, issue sack letters, and prosecute any erring officer. Allocating 25 billion naira to police force with 400,000 uh, staff, yet give National Assembly with 469 lawmakers 125 billion naira worth of revenue, that's 2019 budget, is insane. Grievances are fed as to how police duties are discharged to some special class of citizens, like politicians, religious leaders, and the recently elevated political thugs and their wives. Hereby, I mean, leaving the officer's self-worth battered. This is not happening in developed countries of the world, where politicians, jobless rich men, Malaysian returnee, Yahoo boy, children, wives, girlfriends of politicians are guided with policemen. SARS is just a nomenclature. Whether you change to SWAT or SWAT analysis, the bad policemen are still in the system. Review the recruitment policy that allows just anyone to be enlisted as a police officer. We need to improve on training, especially mental health. Increase their salaries so that decent Nigerian youth, especially the graduates, can join the police. Their welfare and retirement package. Have a system that won't allow their pensions to be stolen. Finally, have access to tools for effectiveness and efficiency. RRS Command, led by Tunji Disu, in Lagos State has shown that police and policing without toggery and robbery is possible in Nigeria. As we continue this generational struggle, we end bad governance. Hashtag end Nas Jumbo Pay. Hashtag end Yahoo Yahoo. And hashtag end Yahoo, association of Yahoo Yahoo mothers. Nigerian youth, let's sustain this energy as we get our voters card ready for 2023 register with the political party, or at best, we form our own political party. God bless Nigeria. God bless Nigeria youth. Well, I didn't realize you, you wrote that because I've, I've read it on, on, on WhatsApp. Mm. And I thought, oh, brilliant, form your own political party. Don't go to any of those major <laughs> Just form your own. Leave these people. That's number one. Number two, please. So, which one is... Um, and uh, Yahoo, Yahoo Mothers. Oh, yes, we yeah, have. There's an association. There's an association. Who are the mothers? 
the mother, the mother born young 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 boys. Boys. they didn't draw from heaven. Yeah. Uh, so I see. They have an association to do what? To, to fight for their children. It must be to defend their interests. <laughs> to defend their interests. <laughs> I am so okay. just hearing that. No, in Nigeria. Wow. I, it was in the you papers. You too? I'm, not I'm just hearing Nigeria. that for the it first the time. Really? You know, I it could say, also be part as of the street as, as I am. I'm, I'm <laughs> <hearing> <laughs> it. <laughs> nah, it was in the papers. They had an association. You know, and, and it was to defend the interests of the of the of their children. Anyway, like I always say, in a state of lawlessness, it is illegal to be law abiding. Oh. Uh, so, you, you see, you, you you mentioned very important uh, uh, facts about what is going on, because now everybody seems to say, oh, SAS is bad, police is bad, as if they are not our brothers and uncles and nephews and sons and fathers, or as if we imported them from hell and they are not part of this society. They are part of this society, but right from recruitment, when you recruit just anybody. Even, even, even criminals could be recruited into the police. Mm -hmm. Then the training school, have you seen the pictures of the training school etiquette? I mean, I saw yeah. the video. When, will when, a, will when, a human being come out of that place and, see, and still be sane by the time you're, no, you're, you're done with the training? It's not yeah. possible. Never. So these are all part of the problem. What is the guy looking forward to? How much is the salary? Does he take him home? What is his pension hope? Is he properly armed? Is he clothed? Does he have a place to live? Even the contributing pension, they hardly get it. No, he, 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 uh, um, uh, Patai Owosheni, a former commissioner of police, right. once told us that um, on, on a TV program that um, the average police station gets 15,000 naira monthly as impressed, and it doesn't come. The day you complain, they'll tell you, DPO, you are tired of your job. The patrol vehicles get 1,000 naira a day for fear. And, and so, and yet it doesn't come. So you buy vehicles, where do you expect the funds to come from? Oh, they buy vehicles. You know? You. And then the policeman will buy uniform, buy statement form, buy boots, even in police training college. So, and then look at the kind of food they feed them, even prisoners' food. Uh, you know, a, a preacher once told us that our uh, university hostess, not police, uh, university hostess, that Americans will keep their prisoners in such dehumanizing condition. <laughs> You know, Should not the dog of a police hoster. So when you bring up people in such an environment, the only thing, and then you give him a gun, and you're, like you said, your uh. senator ends, you know, humongous pay. 15 million naira monthly. The other one, 9.5 million naira he's monthly. Just perpetually and angry. so what you're telling, he's angry, but he can't face that senator. So he yes, takes out the you. anger yes. on you. Yes. And then he sees you, every young man who's driving a good car is an enemy. It feels oppressed. So if I can't live like this, who are you? You must be the son of a rich man. And they also know that, you know, big man talk to big man, big man understand. Mm -hmm. So the big man, they can't touch the children of the rich. So you that is a poor man, you are aspiring to be rich. Why? You know, it's forbidden. So it is that, that hatred transferred. But that's why people, the head says hashtag is saying, look, Reform them, but reform, uh, uh, increasing pay Wait. does also not necessarily mean that it will uh, stop stealing. After all, the senators and uh, your humongous pay are they still? We sh we really should move on now. Uh, check up quickly. Um, well, I must say that um, the reform the reformation of the country is what this is all about. Um, when this thing started. I, I, I wrote on Facebook that it's if ending SARS is ending the current Nigeria and starting all over again. Mm. Right. So that we just understand that that's what it is. Mm. Yeah. Okay, the silence of the good people is more dangerous than the brutality of the bad people, says Matilda King. We appreciate you sharing your opinions and comments with us. Miriam Jamu speaks on our last episode and he says, well done, the advocate. I always enjoy what you bring to the table. Thank you. Adibu Ega somewhere says on liberal advocacy, good roads wanted. God bless you for this write-up. Agbara Badagri International Road is in shambles. Not to talk of Agbara Lusada Aton Road is nothing to write home about. Do we have a government for the people? I wonder myself. Oh, we appreciate you sharing your opinions with us. And thank you, Miriam Jamu and Adibu Ega Samuel for your opinions. Do continue to participate with us on social media platforms on Facebook, plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate NG. To catch up with the previous broadcast, go to plus TV Africa.com slash the advocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, plus TV Africa. After the break, Chuka advocates for a less 
sexualized society. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. That's it, it, it does. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.